And they're off. Lady Spite Spear in Italian. Abscon showing some speed. Flower Point down toward the inside, but no doubt about the leader in Italian. Quickly establishes the front and opens up to lead by two and a half. And she's guided over toward the rail for the run of the opening turn. In Italian, the leader. Abscon comes in toward the inside of Lady Spite Spear. They're together second and third. Flower Point is fourth. Wakanaka comes away fifth and is five lengths off the lead. Speak of the Devil settles in at the back of the pack as they move to the back stretch run. In Italian, showing the way. Controlled on the front end, just a length and a quarter in front. It meandered for the opening quarter in 24. In four fifth seconds, the pace is slow to develop. In Italian, continues to cruise along. Lady Spite Spear in the clear, chasing from second. Abscond is over to the inside third. In Italian, running a little bit off the rail past the half mile pole. And it's Flower Point in fourth, three lanes back to Wakanaka. Speak of the Devils to Trailer. So on to the far turn they go. In Italian, continues to show the way, holding on to that one length advantage. Lady Spite Spear given more range. Speak of the Devil with a blitz on the far turn was last a furlong ago. Is now third, is now second, and is about to be first at the quarter pull. Speak of the Devil with a sweeping move to the front. In Italian has to set down and re-respond and is trying to do so down inside. One furlong to go. Speak of the Devil in full flight past the eighth pole, opening up by two. In Italian with no response for Speak of the Devil. A last to first, flashy winner by three on the wire. In Italian was second, Wakanaka was third. Wow, speak of the devil, impressive comeback victory for the favorite, Chad Brown, Flavian Pratt aboard. Yeah, look, look at Flavian Pratt pulled the trigger. He has a brilliant run around the turn. I think the reason he did that is for because the, the rider of Wakanaka, number five, Jose Ortiz, stayed well off the rail, gave him a huge gap. And he saw an opportunity to run up inside there, save more ground than Wakanaka, and then he kind of settled her again. He idled her again, waiting for the, the top of the stretch. But what a brilliant move. That was a wow moment into what was a pretty slow pace at that point. The silks of 74-year-old Peter Brandt, who since he's gotten back into the business after a 20-year break, I think this is now the 17th rated stakes winner that he's had on this one speak of the devil looks like she has a bright future i firmly believe flavian pratt the jockey could have waited until the eighth pole to pull to make that move and she still would have blown by the entire field so what did chad brown tell us speak of the devil has a serious turn of foot we saw it purchased by owner peter brant for 2.2 million dollars high hopes for this horse who makes her five-year-old debut in style here at Churchill Downs. Now, in Europe, back last summer in France, she was beaten ahead in a Group 1 stakes at Deauville, and she was beaten by a filly named Mother Earth, who runs for Coolmore, who's had the a best. lot of credentials yes. over there. So it's not like Speak of the Devil didn't have a pretty good resume, which is why she sold for $2.2 million. And an Italian had no excuse. She had the pace nice and comfortable for her up front, a half and 49. She had no excuse at all. Nice kick for Wakanaka, but Wakanaka was actually in front of Speak of the Devil at one point, and then when Speak of the Devil just blew by her, that's that was very impressive. Edzo's not going to like that with uh, Wakanaka. Oh, a third piece of the pie there. Uh, Speak of the Devil, it, it looked like she kept drifting out too at I the think, end. I think Flavia and Pratt, the jockey, took her out there on purpose, number one, to keep an Italian from wanting to to be combative with her through the stretch, but also, it's probably the more drier part of the of the turf course. Speaking of the devil, just got a nice cheer by the crowd coming back, and she deserves it. Peter Brandt and Chad Brown, Randy, when they when they team up, watch out everyone else. Well, yeah, Peter Brandt, a long, long time ago, had some very, very top racehorses, just a game, gulch, you know, and, and then he got out of the business to play polo. His passion was polo. And then maybe, what, seven or eight years ago? I don't have the exact year in front of me. But he said he was too old to play polo anymore, so he decided to get back into thoroughbred racing, and he has gotten back in a big, big way.